All right, what's up guys? Today we're doing this effect that was in the Sofago off the map music video. It's relatively easy. Uh, we're doing it all in Premiere, so we're gonna be doing no rotoscoping. I'll show you some techniques I use without rotoscoping. Yeah, it's relatively easy. You just kind of have to know a few settings to, and to do it, but make sure you guys like, subscribe, notifications. All right, let's do it. All right, so here's my clip I'm gonna be using. I made sure I shot this kind of on a white psych wall, just kind of like Sofago did. So we're gonna be doing no rotoscoping this, but we are gonna have to you know, I'm going to show you some other ways you, you can use with kind of getting your subject out without rotoscoping. And you guys can probably tell because it's a white wall. But here, let's get into it. So if you go to our clip, here it is. First things first is we have to isolate our subject. So we're going to go ahead and go to our effects search bar right here. Search up Luma and then space key. This will pop up underneath key and go ahead and drag that onto your clip. And then it will kind of turn like this, but don't worry. Just go ahead and turn the threshold all the way back down in your effects control panel. Doing so, um, you'll make it normal, but then now you kind of want to get rid of this white wall. So technically you can do this with a black wall as well. Well, as well, you just have to do the opposite. But since I have white wall, I'm going to take the cutoff right here and I'm going to increase that. Now you can see the black, the white wall is fading to black. That's, be, that's pretty much kind of taking out the white wall. So if you put like a clip underneath it, it, it'll show the clip instead of just black since I don't have anything underneath it. It's showing black right now So I'm gonna take the cutoff. Um, you can see it's slightly Taking off his shirt because he also wore a white shirt, but that's fine since um, I'm gonna kind of Mess around with the settings and when I get to a certain percentage it starts to take away from him so if that happens to you all you have to do is just hold mess with the threshold now and I'm gonna increase the threshold you can see the white wall is slowly going away. However, his shirt is going away. Um, so if I'm going to lower down the threshold a little bit and lower, lower down the cutoff, just so his shirt is mostly there. So now his shirt is mostly there with these settings I used and we do have some extra on top. I'm gonna keep the extra for right now, this extra white background because for the effect we're using, we don't really use it and we're gonna refine the effects later on. But if you're using this techniques um, in like you like some other clip that you need a perfect key, then you just go ahead and mask this out. All right, but let's get into the effect. So we're gonna need to duplicate this clip first. So I like to click it, hold Alt, and I'm gonna go ahead and drag it to the bottom. So I'm just gonna drag it one layer underneath and it'll, that'll duplicate the clip. I'm gonna select the bottom clip now, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to my effects search bar. And I'm gonna search up turbulent displace. And just try that again. Turbulent, turbulent displace. And under right here underneath the distort is turbulent displace. Go ahead and drag that onto your second clip. And then if you you can see right here, I'm just gonna mute the top clip, and you can see that your clip gets all wiggly. I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know about this effect, but here we go. Here's you're gonna need to um, follow some keyframes. So if we're following the effect two par here are the keyframes you're going to need so you're going to need a keyframe the size and the amount so doing so you're going to here are the uh, settings you're going to want you're going to bring up the amount a tiny bit you're going to keep the size at around 100 now the more you go so you're going to go to the end of the clip or kind of like the finishing effect now you're going to bring up the amount to about 4,000, maybe even greater. And then you're gonna bring the size down to roughly, kind of to where you like it. So about right, I guess right here, kind of resembles the original more. I'm not looking at the original, I'm just kind of guessing. But about 19 or 20 resembles the original more. Now you can see it doesn't fill the whole screen. Um, because kind of our subject is right here, so we have all this emptiness. We'll go ahead and scroll down, and underneath this pinning, go ahead and click None. And then now it should fit the whole entire screen. Now, um, another thing you can do is, what I like to do is, I just like to increase, go scroll up, go to the video motion, and the video scale, I just like to increase that to 120. And then now if we unmute the top clip, we'll see we have this effect. Right, and it's getting close and it's kind of it. It's almost there. Not yet, we have to do 
a little a few more things so I'm gonna fix the background right now because it's gonna you can kind of see the effect more with the with the white background so I'm gonna select the top clip I'm gonna hold alt and I'm gonna drag it underneath the middle clip so it kind of makes a sandwich now I'm gonna select the most bottom clip I'm gonna take off the luma key and so if you look at it now we kind of have the same effect as the video but you can see right here it kind of um if we go scroll farther right here it kind of did not get the luma key or you did not get the white if you noticed earlier you know you have this ugliness white up here so what you can do is if you can slowly increase these uh the cutoff and the threshold and if we're really being honest, no one's really going to notice like this ugliness right here. If you really want it to make pretty, you can duplicate this and make a keyframe, or you can keyframe the loom key just to affect only around the subject, but really no one's going to notice if you're being honest. Okay, so we're almost there. We're almost there. We just need to add pretty much one more effect. So this effect is cool and it's kind of kind of similar, but we need to make it give it that little extra um oomph. So go ahead and go to your effects panel, your search panel, and look up Lens Distortion. So if I do that, and right here underneath the store, go ahead and drag that onto your middle clip. And go ahead and scroll all the way down in your effects controls. Or you want to keyframe this curvature, and then go to the end of the clip almost, and then go ahead and drag left. Just like that. And I think they did something similar like this. Okay, so if you look, you get something like that. So it starts off kind of regular. I'm going to change the evolution so you can see it differently. So it kind of starts off like a regular turbulent displace behind the clone effect, and then it kind of turns into this crazy, crazy thing. You can smooth, you can bring your keyframes up a little bit further or a little bit sooner, and then kind of smooth into them just so it gives it more of a punch effect so you have more a longer sense of this effect and then if I go to the end of this and I kind of increase the amount and then and also increase the size or decrease the size in the turbulent displace and I can increase the scale a little bit we'll get more of the same effect Oop, this did a little bit that here I'm going to delete those let me, so if you look at this, we're getting pretty close to the effect. That's pretty much the same effect. All right, that's basically it for this one. Let me know if you guys liked it. It's a super easy one. Uh, make sure you like, like, subscribe, and notifications later.